energetic because I can tell just like the way. Me Megan, Megan, we're doing the show. I am doing the show. I am the show. Okay. Just get out of the shot, Megan. Do you see this? I'm Mike from U Central Media, and it's time once again. We're taking those two Broncos, putting them head to head in a trivia contest, and the winner is going to get. So it's like trivia crack, right? Like. Yes, Megan, it's like trivia crack. You have to be so okay. <laughs> it's like I don't know how to respond to that. We talked about this, Megan. You don't have to get all sassy with me, okay? All sassy? All sassy. I'll get sassy if I want to get sassy. You know what? Turn the camera off. I'm about to get real sassy because I'm going to tell you exactly how... This episode of the Cup of Joe Quiz Show made possible by UCO Housing and Dining. With convenient campus locations including Buddies, the Bronco Sports Grill, Legends, Starbucks, and the Nye University Center Food Court. If you need more information about their flex spending accounts, visit their website today, dineoncampus.com forward slash UCO. All right, so first question, ready or not, here we go. Well, are you ready? Yep. Cool, we'll go with it. What is Peter Jean Hernandez's stage name? Peter. Pete. It is not Peter or Pete. Yeah from the thoughts of Peter Jean Hernandez, brought to you by his mind. Girl, I love you just for the way you are. Why can you do the same for me? No, my name. So she got the question wrong. You have the opportunity to steal it. Okay, say it again. Peter Jean Hernandez, what is his stage name? Slash? I don't know. It is not Slash, it's Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. <laughs> Peter Jean Hernandez. Okay. Bruno Mars, or also known as Pierre Jean Hernandez, was born on October 8, 1985. Flapper girls were most popular in which decade? Flapper girls? Um, I'm going to guess and say the 30s. Ah, so close, Rob. All right, he got the question wrong. You can steal the answer if you know it. Do you want me to repeat the question? No, I think it, uh, 80s. The 80s. No, it's the 20s. The 1920s. Flapper oh, girls. Flapper. Yeah, he was close. He was a lot closer. Now the one bites the dust. From their excessive smoking and drinking habits, to their long dangly necklaces, bobbed hair, and dresses that expose the ankle. The style was in response to the political and social uproar, with World War I as the cause. Jazz music was also roaring throughout the decade as their anthem. Quite scandalous, ladies. Next question's for you. Okay. You think you have it? No. You don't think you have it at all? She has no faith. It's okay, I have faith in you. <laughs> Speak for yourself. What was the name of King Arthur's sword? Did you ever see Sword in the Stone? Yeah. And you don't know? I always... Stalamar. Stalamar? Stalamar. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Stalamar? Yeah, that sounds more like a war horse than a sword, but I guess I can give you credit for that, though. Wait, do I hear cliche love novel music in the background? Is that Fabio? Mike, is this in the budget? <laughs> so do you know the name of King Arthur's sword? I actually do. It's Excalibur. It is Excalibur. Great job. That's one point for you, Sir Rob. I dub thee Sir Rob, the knower of all swords. Excalibur is well known for being an enchanted sword. According to myth, the sword was implanted in the stone, and whoever had the strength to unsheathe the sword from the stone was the true king of England. Other versions of the myth say it is the wizard Merlin who gifted Arthur the sword. What are French fries called in Britain? I know. I know this one. Um... He thinks he knows. It's right there on the tip of his tongue. I don't know, potato wedges. I don't know. It is not potato wedges. Great guess, though. You can steal. Do you know what French fries are called yes. in Britain? Chips. They are called chips. Great job. It's one to one. It's getting serious out here. Yeah, it is. So since that was his question, the next question is for you. Okay. See, so you got to have more faith. You got it. Okay? okay. All right. Come on, girl. You got this. The tail. Are you looking at my? She looked at my car. Do you see that? In the tail of the three little pigs, what was the second pig's house made of?
sticks? What? It was sticks. Yeah, great job. So that's two points for you. Great job. If you don't get this question right, well, then it's, it's going to be sad. She could steal it and win the game. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. What is the world's largest island that is not its own continent? It's, um... South America. No, it's... Yep, so I'm going to say South America. It is not South America. Sorry, man. You got it wrong. You have the chance to clinch this thing. Do you know the world's largest island that is not its own continent? Hawaii. Hawaii? <laughs> you know how big Hawaii is? I should reword that. Do you know how small Hawaii is? What Mike said. Yeah. It's Greenland. Greenland. The world's largest island is Australia, but it is its own continent. Greenland is not the first thought when people hear the word island. It is, however, the biggest island in the world, minus the continent status. The country is dressed in mountain ranges, ice sheets, and more. In total, the island spans at about 836,330 square miles. Average temps at New York spans from 18 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Don't ask me why it's considered an island. I just look up the trivia questions. All right, so that being said, the next question's for you. Okay. If you get this one right, you will still win. Yay. It's two to one. You've got this. I've got this. Pat yourself on the back for getting this far. Ooh, she just did the double taps on the shoulders. This just got real. What animal is often associated with the status of a god in ancient Egypt? A cat. It is the cat. Great job. You won the Cup of Joe quiz show. That means you get the free $5 voucher to Starbucks, which is conveniently low. What are you going to buy me? I mean, yourself. What are you going to buy? A drink. That's a great answer. That's the best answer yet. She got three answers right, and that was still the best answer yet. A drink? You've been playing this game for the past six minutes, and that's the best answer you can come up with? Uh, Cup of Joe winners these days with their vague answers. Yeah! So while Mike's doing his little Broadway <laughs> breakout and whatnot, I'm Megan. I'm the camera person. O K L A H O M A. Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Megan, and uh, you can check me out on my social media pages. My Twitter account, and then I host a show called Conspiracy Weekly. You should totally check that out, too. And then, whatever you want to put there, youcentralmedia.com, whichever works. So, uh, okay, uh, uh, bye. <laughs> Wait, before you leave, check out these moments. Calm down. <laughs> so that could be like, it doesn't look like the screen is talking. Like, Hello? <laughs> well, that was weird. <laughs>